All right, let's add these two fractions together and then see if we can simplify or reduce it at the end. First off, do they have a common denominator? Yes, they do. That means we're going to add them up and x minus 5 will be the denominator. Add up the tops by looking for like terms. So that will be x squared plus 1x minus 3. These two terms combine to make negative 3. Now in the previous lesson, what we did was look at a fraction like this and try to reduce it. And we need to try to reduce. And we do that by changing it into its factored form. And since the bottom is already just a factor x minus 5, maybe we'll be able to cancel out x minus 5. So take an x in a box, try to factor the top. Negative 3 and 1 are the two numbers. I can't think of two numbers that work, so that means we can't break it up. This is as reduced or simplified as possible. One other idea, what is the restriction? What can x not equal? Well, 5 would make the bottom 0, so x cannot equal 5. 